Hello gorgeous soul, here's your astrology weather report for the week starting the 25th of June. This week there's so much going on, it's very intense, so many planets are going backwards, Jupiter, Saturn, Pluto and Mars are going retrograde, you know, it, Chiron is going retrograde, it's like wow, you know, the universe wants us to all, well it doesn't want us, we're all being dragged back to the past as an opportunity to gather treasure from the past, to look at the past and go, how could I have done things differently? What major decisions did I make that created where I am am now, created who I am now? And how can I see it differently, change it or understand it so that I can transform my life now and in the future? You know, we, we can be a magician. We can be an enchantress. We can have the power and the tools to look at the past and turn it into the most powerful fertilizer. But we've got to be willing to reflect. And if we don't, we may feel as if we're being dragged through a hedge backwards. Now on the 25th, Venus is square Jupiter. There's a feeling of wanting freedom within our personal relationships. Either we're gonna feel it, perhaps if we're in a relationship, the other person's gonna feel it, or we'll be drawn to, to a real free spirit. Venus is in Leo, so there's a lot of confidence in the air, and Jupiter is in Scorpio. So what Jupiter and Scorpio means is we get, again, deep rewards the whole of this year, the further we're prepared to dive into the underworld um, of our soul and, and to look at the things that maybe we don't usually shine a light on. The other big news of this week is on the 26th, Mars goes retrograde in Aquarius. And again, we're being pulled back. We're being pulled back to think about freedom again, our personal freedom, our connection with the whole our connection um, with others and how we are socially, how we are as a community of souls, how we we feel about all of us uh, as humans on the planet and, and how we're behaving and how we can put our energy into making the whole a better place. Um, and what we do, what we're doing with our energy, what we're doing with our anger, what we're doing uh, with our life to change things. It has a, a massive relationship to the father in our lives as well father figures powerful figures in our life powerful masculine figures maybe even figures in authority and how that's influenced how we behave when we're in a group and, and has that had any effect on you what was your relationship like with your father for instance what lessons did you learn from that dynamic how did that shape you for good or bad uh, did it shape you in a positive way or a negative way and how did it shape you in terms of how you you see yourself as a leader uh, as someone that's got a positive impact to put into the whole. Now the full moon is quite intense because it's conjunct Saturn. So Saturn isn't really compatible with the moon because the moon is all flowing and emotional and feminine and Saturn is quite controlling uh, and stern. So there may be a feeling of you looking within your heart and, and kind of maybe feeling guilt from the past, maybe feeling that you being a bit self-critical or, or feeling restricted in some way don't go down that negative route if you can help it obviously it's all a process if you're feeling that you know that might be quite useful for you to feel but come through it do it as a process rather than just uh, you know an, an, an experience to make yourself feel bad because basically this moon can be very good in terms of us looking at what we want to commit to in terms of our career why we've made some of the decisions to do whatever we're doing in the world you know to do with our ambition to do with career to do with how the world sees us how we see ourselves in the world in that external sense rather than you know it's our public face so how do you feel about your public face and, and your job and all of that stuff you could get a massive and productive sign from the new moon a kind of a revelation about how to shift that energy but you know saturn is quite stern he likes to give a little hard lesson so you know don't be too hard on yourself you know don't there's no point thinking about the past and, and berating yourself it's all about now fixing the past fixing the present and transforming your life so that you can step into whatever you want to do and be whoever you want to be mercury shifting signs and thank goodness going into a very jolly space you know we're all that little bit more confident that little bit more creative 
Mercury is in bold, brazen and dazzling Leo. Uh, and so we're all sprinkled with a little bit of that magic dust. So use that energy. Know that if you've been feeling a bit insecure, you can be confident in what you say. And there's a lot of laughter, jolliness, optimism. It's the opportunity to have very warm, open and embracing conversations and to open up our heart to love and flirtation. Uh, it's also in a, kind of in the soulmate zone. So you may find yourself having a deep and delicious conversation with someone that you gel with. Generally, though, and I will do a specific video on this, we're all being cast back to the past. And, and, and this hasn't, it's a very rare thing. And it hasn't happened for a long, long time, this amount of planets going backwards. So it's important to be focused, take it seriously, you know, very happily go back to the past and see what learning you can get. And fundamentally, it's crazy how we'll probably all get a real um, look at the past. It's almost like we're looking at it from a different camera angle. We're seeing things differently and it's going to liberate us in some way if we work with the energy. So on that note, it's very, very positive. I send you so much love. I hope you have a fabulous week. It's intense and profound, but, you know, very wonderful lessons to learn for us to get our power back. Take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon. Hello, wonderful one. Thank you so much for listening. It would be fabulous if you liked, subscribed, or shared. It would be really, really helpful. Also, I have a ton of free stuff for you. Horoscope.co.uk for everything astrology and michellenight.com for everything psychic and free tarot reading. See you there.